small compressors. Um, I wanted to bring this in because I wanted to sh make sure you understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the small compressors and, and spraying. Now, if you take a look, this compressor is fully charged right now. We're at 100. This is a little two gallon, I think, yeah, two gallon. It's a little Wood River compressor. And they've got, wood, 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 I just went and looked, and Woodcraft's got, I don't know what kind it is, they got a little two gallon out there, it's 80 bucks. But yeah, probably find it cheaper, whatever. I don't, but again, but here's, here's the main thing I want to look at. If you look at this gauge, we're setting at 115 PSI. Now this compressor says it's a one and a half horse, two gallon tank. It's doing 2.76 cubic feet per minute at 40, pi at 40 pounds of pressure. It's doing 2.3 at 90 pounds of pressure. 40 is a good range for a gravity fed, 40, 50 pounds, depending upon what you're spraying. But you can see, now this little compressor actually is hanging with us. Now I'm going to show you that. <coughs> but the other thing I want to show you, and I'm, is that if you look at this gauge right here, this is this is my adjustment. I'm a, that's 40 pounds. Now that's 40 pounds at this regulator off the compressor. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm at 40 pounds at the gun because I'm going through all this line. So you may have to go to 50 pounds here to get 40 at the gun if that's what you need. Now I'm going to let it build up and I'm going to turn my, I'm going to turn my mic off. I'm going to let it build up and all I'm going to do is hold this gun. I've got all I've got in it is water and We'll see how it does. All right, sorry about that. I forgot to turn Mike back on. I better put it back in my pocket or I'm going to walk out of here and sling it somewhere. All right, at 40. At 40 pounds at the regulator, it's dropping down, holding that trigger solid. But it maintained it. Now that means if you were spraying, what you've got is it's going to it's going to keep the pressure. On the other hand, and when I say that, what I'm talking about is when you're spraying, and I was I was watching it when I come when I come by and I release the trigger. I mean, it recovers pretty fast. It's recovering pretty fast. That's what, what you're looking for is something that's, if you're going to use a gravity fed, it's got to maintain about 50 pounds of pressure. If it drops below that, that's when your atomization is going to change. And when that happens, you're not getting the same spray pattern. So that said, you know, the little compressors work, but this is about as far down as you want to go particularly if you've got anything of any size to spray. I just wanted to bring this in and show it to you and see what you think. It's not taking real long to recover, so that's a good thing. Now the other, now this is an oil. This has a, This is oil. I'm not trying to sell you this compressor. I'm just showing you. That's an oil. Uh, you know, again, Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Home Depot, they all got them. So, but I'm gonna say it again. 
you, if you're finishing a compressor, it's, a, it's just a wonderful thing to have. Would this run an air sander or whatever? Not very long. Now, I mean, you, you, about the time you start and get going, because, I mean, you're pulling, on, air on an air sander, you're pulling double what we're pulling on this, on this spray gun. And there's no, you know, every time you let off, like pulling that trigger and releasing that trigger, it's going to pick up, but it's just not going to maintain it. And that said, if, you, if you're using an air sander and, and you start slowing down, then what happens is you, that grit that's on there, your sanding grit, is going at a, at a different rate and it can cause those fish hooks and scratches. So that's something to think about. But like I said, I just wanted to show it to you. A small compressor. One last thing. Um, on this compressor, and, we've, and, and in the compressor we talked about filtering it and whatever, and I showed you the little filter that goes on the gun, that would be fine here. Because one of the things you're not going to get, when you plug this in, you're going to be using it. So that means there's a lot of air coming through, okay? And uh, you're not going to be stopping a lot. But if, once you stop, the issue is, is if moisture gets in this hose. So what you want to do is always before you start is blow, run some air through the line and that should clear any moisture that's in it. Works good. Kind of. It'll, it'll get you back.